Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video planned because I'm gonna share all of my current favorites. But normally when I do a current favorites video, it's all makeup related. There's gonna be some makeup in here, but it's gonna be a big melting pot of all my favorite products and it's gonna be really fun. So sit back, relax, and let's get right into what my current favorite things are. Okay, we're gonna kick this video off of favorites with my skincare routine. And this video is in partnership with Haru Haru Wonder. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have caught that I'm obsessed with their sunscreen. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Daily SPF Sunscreen. It has a PA++++. I'm almost out of this. A fantastic sunscreen. I'm not gonna get too much into this, but this has been a current favorite. I need to pick up another one. It works incredibly well under makeup, but that's not the main product I wanna talk about. The main product I wanna talk about is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. This is unscented, it's vegan, it's incredibly gentle on your skin. But one of the reasons why I love it the most is because I wear a lot of eye makeup, I wear a lot of like long wear pencils, I've been wearing a lot of glitters on my eyes, which are irritating enough on their own. But when I go to remove my eye makeup, the last thing I want is my eyes to be stinging and burning, but then the worst part, okay, is when you get a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and it gets in your eyes and you have that blurry vision. This doesn't sting my eyes. It doesn't give me that blurry vision. It is incredibly soft and gentle on my skin. So I'll use this to like double cleanse and take off all of my makeup, all of the layers. It also helps to remove SPF on my skin prep. It just takes everything off my skin, but in a really gentle, nice way. It's filled with simple but effective ingredients, which I really love, including 25% Korean black rice brand oil. This is a really nice way to deliver proteins and minerals to your skin. It also helps to refine your skin texture. And then I immediately follow this one with my other favorite from Haru Haru Wonder. It's the Black Rice Moisture 5.5 Soft Cleansing Gel. It's also unscented, so both of these are unscented. And this one is just a great way to do my double cleanse. This also contains simple and effective ingredients like black rice, which gives you tons of antioxidants to your skin. It's good for all skin types. It doesn't strip your skin. And it's a great way to take off the rest of your, your day's worth of makeup and you're including your SPF. So it's gonna remove your SPF, dirt, impurities, and all that last bit of layers of makeup that you maybe didn't quite get with the first round. This is gonna be a great follow-up. It also is amazing because it doesn't strip your skin. It leaves my skin feeling super hydrated and it's very soothing too. So I'm loving it in the winter months when I don't wanna to add to like that stripping and that taking of my skin. I wanna just give my skin something back while I'm cleansing it. This also is a soap-free formula. It has a natural surfactant from coconuts, which I really enjoy, but these two have just been my winning combo for cleansing my skin when it's cold and my skin's already feeling tight and kind of dry. So these have been a favorite. I need to restock them because I'm almost out, along with my SPF moisturizer, that one's almost out. And then speaking of things that I'm out of, Peach and Lily has a copper peptide pro firming serum. I ran out of this so quick. This feels like more like water on your skin. I, it says it's a serum. It doesn't feel like a serum. It feels like I'm putting like basically like a watery essence on my skin. And I don't know if it's just like a placebo effect because it says it's firming, but I really did feel like it firmed up my skin and it gave it like a nice plump hydrated feel, which I love. I love to go in with like some kind of hydrating, plumping, firming essence or like a watery serum on my skin first. And then I'll follow it with another serum and then a moisturizer and then so on and so on. So this has been a really nice one. I clearly ran out of it very quickly. Um, I will be restocking this because I really, really enjoyed it from Peach and Lily. So that was a favorite of mine. And then a new moisturizer that I just got in the last two weeks, I want to say. This is like a drink of water on your skin. It feels so fantastic on my skin. It lays incredibly well underneath all my um, sunscreens that I wear under my makeup and also just wears just well under my makeup in general. It's very, very lightweight. It's from the brand Educated Mess and it's the Saki Balm Targeted Peptide Hydro Burst Moisturizer. In fact, I need some on my hands right now because my hands are feeling so dry. It's so windy and it's just so dry. Like the weather, it's just so, it's just, we're in winter now. So it's so cold. My my legs feel really tight and itchy because my skin's feeling dry. My hands are the same way. But this on my face, I bring it down my neck. I bring it down my chest. And I always put it on my hands. It feels so fantastic. But what I really like too is it's really lightweight and it absorbs really quick to my skin. So I can immediately follow it with my SPF. I can put this on like literally right after and I have no issues with like pilling or the products not interacting well. Like this combo has been so fantastic for my skin in the winter months when it's just really cold and both products together lay so well under makeup. So that's my moisturizer of choice. Now let's kind of switch gears to body because I have some really fun body stuff to share. 
And let's start with something I, I use in the shower on, I probably do this like twice a week. Now, please excuse the cap because I dropped it in my shower and I, I broke the cap basically. Now this is from Bodyography and I actually love Bodyography for their makeup. They have incredible glitter pigments. They have amazing makeup products. If you've never tried their cosmetic line, they have amazing cosmetics. So I didn't even know they had body care, but they sent me a whole PR package, which was so nice. But in it was this body scrub and this is a vanilla sea salt body scrub. Oh my gosh, this is like, it smells incredible. It smells like sugar cookies, like vanilla sugar cookies, but not in like a overly sweet way. It's like very subtle, but the way this makes my skin feel, I've used, I've only had it for like two weeks, maybe, like I said, and I've only broken into it recently, but I've been using it so often. This makes my skin so incredibly soft. The way it like exfoliates gently, it leaves it like very moisturized after because it does have some, I want to say like essential oils are in this. On my legs, I put on my back, my arms, I get my whole body with this and it's fantastic. It makes my skin feel literally incredibly soft. So I've been hooked on this body scrub and I was never like a body scrub person. I can't even close this lid because it's so broken to bits, but that stuff is so fantastic. So out of the shower to kind of like seal in the moisture and to seal in like that renewal feeling of using a body scrub. If you haven't tried the body butter from Naturium, you're really, really missing out. First of all, it smells like absolute heaven. I got to like be a part of the campaign. I, I worked on the campaign when this was first launching. So I got to like put this on the model's body while they shot it. Really fun day. I always work on set for the Naturium shoots and for their launches. So I get to like try the products ahead of time in advance. Very lucky for that. And this, I've been looking forward to this coming out for a long time. It smells so incredible. It smells like a very subtle vanilla coconut scent, but the way this makes your skin glow and the way it locks in moisture and stays there, like it doesn't rub off on your clothes. Like it gives you all day moisture on your body. So in the winter months when my skin, especially my legs start to feel really dry and just itchy and tight, the relief that I get from this is like no other. So highly recommend this. If I didn't mention the name, it's the Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Butter. You have to try this. This is amazing. I believe it's at Target. Okay, speaking of Target too, I have a lot of things coming up that are from Target. I am a, I shop at Target quite often. I always find things that I don't need, but I end up do needing them because I fall in love with them. One of the things I picked up just randomly was this clarifying shampoo. It's from Kristen S. It's a deep clean clarifying shampoo. So I, I've used a ton of this. I definitely put it to the test. I use this probably twice a week, once or twice a week, depending. My hair, I have really fine, flat hair, but my scalp, sorry if it's TMI, I get really oily hair. Like my hair gets oily within a day, like a day of washing it. I'll use this, like I said, once or twice a week, just to remove that excess buildup of like oil and just kind of like get ahead of the oil production on my scalp. I'm sure I'm doing it the wrong way and I'm sure I need to like do something completely opposite, like over moisturize my scalp. I don't know. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments, please give me your tips. But for now, this has really been working and just keeping my hair overall much more clean and helps to reduce the buildup that you get just from like using hairspray and dry shampoo and products in your scalp. This helps to really remove it. And it's incredibly inexpensive. Now, the other thing I didn't realize you can get at Target. However, I did not get mine at Target. It's a body spray. It's from the brand Saltair. Saltair has body care. They have shampoos, deodorant, all kinds of body care. They have them at Target, but this is the Santal Bloom Fine Fragrance Body Mist. This smells so luxurious and so expensive. In fact, I mean, I, I literally will just use this throughout the day, like just randomly. It smells so good. And so I should say this does have notes of creamy sandalwood, sheer amber, and sensual musks. To me, it just smells like a really expensive candle, like a really bougie, expensive candle. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I highly recommend the body sprays. The other thing I like about it too is it's not like a regular body spray that just fades really quick. I'll smell this on my clothing and my skin and my hair all day. All day I'll get little whiffs of it. So it's a very strong body spray where it actually does last on your skin. It's not like a two second, you know, you spray it on, you smell it for a couple seconds and then it's gone. This actually is long lasting. So as of lately, it has been all I've been wearing. And it also, it mixes well with a lot of the perfumes that I wear during the day as well. So it's just been a winning combo for me. Totally switching gears. And this is a beverage. I've never shared like a beverage or something that I eat on my channel because it's a makeup channel, obviously. But this is a really fun list of just 
like my actual favorite things that I've been absolutely loving. I even got my husband hooked on these. They're the Recess Mood. They're a magnesium and adaptogen infused sparkling water. This is the raspberry lemon flavor, which is by far the best. They have a couple other flavors, but I actually do pick these up at Target. But then my Target has been out of stock for a while. So now I started getting these on like auto delivery shipment on Amazon. So I buy like a 12 pack or an 18 pack. I buy a big pack of these because we go through them so often. We drink like one or two a night. They're so good. Trust me. They're so calming. Magnesium is obviously incredible for you and your body. So anything to like calm me down and like relax me before I go to bed, I'm all about. I like, especially if it's not just like drinking a bunch of wine, I don't really want to do that because it doesn't make me feel good. So this has been a really great replacement for something like that. That's going to like calm my mind, get me relaxed, get me in like a nice state to go to bed. But this is fantastic. Highly recommend it. And if you do get these, it adds to the effect if you put them in a really nice cocktail glass. So I put these in a really pretty cocktail glass and we just sit on the couch and sip them and it's a game changer. So nice. Speaking of Target, this is where it's gonna get even more wild because I'm gonna show you some clothes that I'm obsessed with that I did get at Target and that I wear at some point in the day. I wear these almost every single day. So Target has, in my opinion, some of the best like athletic wear and, and they're so inexpensive. They're such great quality. And I'm sorry to say like, don't waste your money on Lululemon. Like that's just my personal opinion. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like Lululemon is just such a waste of money. Their leggings, their tops, they're, why are they so expensive? They're, they're thin, they're fine. Like they're fine, they're nice, but they're so expensive. I mean, come on, really like 150 bucks for a pair of leggings, are you kidding? No thanks. I'm not gonna spend more than $30 on something that I'm gonna, I plan on like probably sweating in and like running around town in and like probably destroying, you know, like I just not, no. Like I'd rather spend a lot on like something like this. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. But these sets, they're sold individually. These are like the leggings. It's like a cute little waffle print, like waffle material top. I wear these to Pilates, but not only that, I just wear them in my day-to-day -day life. I walk my dogs in them. I live in these because they're so cozy. They're so flattering. They like suck you in. They're just, you have to try these. You, like if you're a Lululemon wearer or if you like buy really expensive athleisure stuff, I really highly recommend you check out Target stuff because they're just so inexpensive and the quality is just as good in my opinion. Oh, so I also have a red set. I have a black set, which is dirty right now, but I live in these. I love these sets. So matching top with the leggings. I wear an extra small in the leggings and a small in the top just for reference and they fit perfectly. Now, the other thing that I live in are these fleece jackets, these little fleece jackets. I get them at Target. They're super inexpensive. I'll link them if I can. I'll link everything in the description box. Obviously, all my favorites will be linked below but these are so cozy. It's so cold outside. It's so cold in the morning when I walk my dogs. It's so cold at night when I walk my dogs. So at some point in the day, I'm wearing these sets. Either it's before I go to work or it's right after when I get home, I change into my comfy clothes. But either way, I'm, I'm literally wearing these sets every single day at some point in the day. And they just, they make me happy. So I had to include these because they're just such nice pieces and they're super affordable and yeah you won't regret these if you get them another random item that if you see me out in public you'll see me wearing these probably like eight times out of ten mitch is already laughing so i received these in pr and i'm so grateful to, for the brand the brand is the sack they sent me these like woven sides i wear them with socks they look really cute like socks and my little set from Target, this is what I wear out when I'm like not actually physically working and I get so many compliments. They're so comfortable. I slide my feet in, I'm out, I'm done. Like I walk my dogs in these, they're super comfortable. So thank you so much to the sack for sending me these because these are by far my new favorite shoes, like beyond. Now, speaking of items that I wear, this was sent to me also in PR from the brand Melt Cosmetics. So they launched a collaboration with Bailey Sarian. This is honestly one of the cutest PR packages I've ever received. So one of my other favorites I'm gonna talk about in a second is the eyeshadow palette, but this was launched at the same time. So it says Fatally Yours, which is the collection name with Bailey Sarian and Melt Cosmetics. The inside of this bag is this adorable plaid. So cute. I've been wearing this. I even bought my sister one because she loved mine. She was like, where'd you get that bag? So I got it for free. So I bought her one. She's gonna get it really soon. It's so cute. I just wear it as my purse. It's adorable. So this has been my new favorite purse just for like going out and about when I don't want a big purse. I just like throw my wallet in there and I call it a day. 
The other product that I've been loving from that same collection, the Fatally Yours collection, is the eyeshadow palette. This is an all matte eyeshadow palette. I've done multiple looks on my Instagram with this palette and it's just stunning. It's so unique. The color story is so cool. I mean, it's so Bailey Sarian. If you know, you know, she's got like such a cool and unique style. These eyeshadows are such an amazing formula. There's minimal fallout. They're super richly pigmented, but Milk Cosmetics in general has amazing eyeshadow formula. So of course this was gonna be no less than their standard, but I just love the color story. I love the greens. I love the names. They're all named after poisons, which is again, very Bailey Sarian. Just super cute, like such an exciting launch. They did such a fantastic job with this eyeshadow palette and I've been wearing it on a regular basis. So this had to be included in my favorites. And then let's keep it with makeup for a second and I'm gonna take it back to hair. This other makeup palette, this is from Hourglass. I went out and bought myself this because one of my friends, Tiffany on Instagram, she just influenced me. Like she's been using these palettes from Hourglass and just creating these soft, beautiful, glowy looks. And I thought, I'm not an Hourglass PR list, which is totally fine. So I went out and picked this up, obviously, with my own money, bought myself the Leopard palette, and let me show you how beautiful this is inside. So I've already used this for many different like short uh, makeup tutorials on my Instagram and even like here on YouTube Shorts. Um, if you've caught it, let me know. But this is a beautiful palette. I even picked up one for a gift for someone because I think it makes a really perfect gift, but it's just a beautiful palette. I've been wearing it literally every single day. I pop it. In my makeup bag, I do my makeup a lot of the times on the go for work, and this has everything I need. It has some blushes, highlighter, bronzer, and I'm set. Okay, last makeup product I'm gonna talk about in this favorites video is these lashes. I am so hooked on these lashes. In fact, the brand Velour sent me a whole restock box, which I'm so grateful for because I was completely out. They're probably one of the only brands that have strip lashes that I actually like. I'm not a big strip lash fan at all in my makeup kit, especially I only use individuals, but they have some beautiful, really natural, really soft, just really expensive looking lashes, like strip lashes that look fantastic on. They're really, really flattering. But in my opinion, these are really where it's at. These are incredible. So they're a cluster lash. So they have a little trio of three different like lash sections. They're easy to put on. They are incredibly lightweight. You don't even feel them on. I have them on right now. Now you'll notice I only have left on both of these packs, the long, length ones, which I don't wear the long length on myself. They're just too long on my eyes, but I always use all the rows of the medium length and then the short length. These just work the best on my eye shape and just on my eyes and for what I'm like going for. These are just fantastic. I can't speak highly enough of these. I think they're amazing. Also, if you're like maybe a bride and you want like a soft, flirty, really like fluttery type lash that's not heavy and doesn't weigh down your eyes, these are an incredible option to check out. So I'll make sure I link these also in the description box. They also reached out to me recently and they gave me a discount code too. So that's gonna be in there as well in case you wanna check them out and save some money. Now we're gonna go back to one more item on this list of favorites. Now, don't be mad at me. This is a really expensive item, okay? But it's worth mentioning because I use it almost every day. So I just wanna keep this really authentic, really true to what my current favorites are. And it's my Dyson Air Straight. But I wanna talk about this because I get a lot of questions about my Dyson Airstrait. So first of all, let me tell you something. It's incredibly easy to use. Like there's a teeny bit of a learning curve at the very first time you're using it. And then once you get the hang of it, which is again, very quick, it's so, so easy to use. Now, not only that, you don't have to just use it to straighten your hair. I actually just use this as a blow dryer. 80% of the time I use this as just like my regular blow dryer. So I'll grab a round brush. And if you keep the prongs closed, by locking it, it turns into just a blow dryer, like a really small, really lightweight blow dryer. And it's very powerful still too, especially for my hair. I have very fine, silky, thin hair. So it gets the job done really quick for me personally. But the other thing about it is I can use it both ways, right? So I can take this on the go with me. I can take a round brush and like blow up my hair in like a round brush kind of way, or I can use it as the straightener, which if you open the clamps, and you wanna face the, this is where like the actual air comes out, like the blow drying air comes out of this, this side right here where the vents are. You wanna face it down, pull your hair through it and it will straighten your hair while it's drying it. And it leaves your hair so silky, but very, very sleek. So one thing I wanna talk about is, I don't think this is the best for my hair type. However, I'm obsessed with using it. So take what you will. I think it's a really incredible tool. I think it's really, really handy if you want like a two-in-one. For example, I actually recommend this to one of my clients recently who has hair texture similar to mine, but a lot more hair than me. And what she was doing was blow drying her hair, like rough blow drying it. 
getting it totally dry and then flat ironing it completely. And I was like, you need to just get the air straight because it will do literally both those things at the same time and it'll leave your hair incredibly sleek, shiny, and it's just quick and easy. Like I can get through my entire head in probably 10, 10 minutes, 12 minutes maybe, but I don't have a lot of hair. I do think this is better suited for someone who has the opposite hair type than me because my hair is already pretty flat and this does not give you volume. So this is the opposite of a volumizing tool. It's not like the air wrap where it gives you like the, those voluminous curls. So if you're going for volume, you're not gonna like this, but if you're going for smooth and sleek and very straight, this is a really, really great tool. It's expensive and I'm not gonna lie, I really hate this battery pack thing because it bangs into my wall the whole time I'm blow drying my hair and it drives me crazy, but I'll deal with it because it really works fantastic. So that wraps up this video. These are all of my favorites and I hope you enjoyed seeing a more diverse list of my favorite products I actually use in my day-to-day -day life. You know, sometimes it's fun to mix it up and not just do makeup on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this list. Leave me a comment if you did. Tell me what your favorites are. Let me know what you're loving. It could be makeup, it could be non-makeup, it could be clothing whatever. Tell me what your favorites are. I would love to hear from you. If you like videos like this, I have tons more where this came from. You can check them out right here. Big thank you again to Hara Hara Wonder for partnering with me on this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one and thank you so much for watching. Bye.